Adriana, are you there? Adriana, I'm sorry I scared you away, Adriana. Uh, oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, so Adriana, thank you so much for being a card hero. As I was saying before, you are an operations manager at a thousand Oaks. Um, I want you to know that you were nominated as a card hero and that somebody said about you that you have been working hard to get your staff scheduled and that you are checking in with the families regularly and that you have been consistent and steady at work despite all of the changes and we all find that awesome. So thank you so much, Adriana, for being a rock star and a card hero. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, it's such a pleasure to have you, Adriana. And I'm so glad you could join us. And thank you very much for continuing to push forward, no matter what the circumstances. And yeah. I see that you're, of course, working from home. So Tell us a little bit how things have progressed and changed for you over the last month and how are you doing personally and kind of what motivates you to keep going? Uh, so it's definitely been an adjustment. Um, one thing that we're extremely used to, uh, even for myself, is just, you know, being around all the all the kiddos that we service on the day to day. Uh, we typically have um, kids at the center from 9.30 up until 7.30 at night. So I think that uh, that's definitely been one of the biggest adjustments along with uh, not being able to have such close contact with our leadership team. Uh, we are very close so that, you know, that's also um, been a little bit of a hurdle that we've had to, uh, to kind of take over. But Gradually, I think we're also settling into the situation that we're in. Um, more and more families that were initially hesitant to even attempt uh, telehealth services are now, you know, we're trying to coordinate schedules uh, pretty much on a monthly basis for now. So uh, settling. So, you know, it's not day by day saying, oh, I have a technician here. Also taking account all the, the recommendations to make sure that we're also keeping our staff safe during this time. Um, you know, and just reaching out, being present, being here, um, definitely a, a, an adjustment, longer hours for all of us, but at the end of the day, grateful to be here for the families that we serve and, and to also, you know, be available for our staff. That's amazing. And thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. How long have you been with us, Adriana? At Car it will be seven years in there May. You know, that's what I thought. Yeah. And so that means that Adriana has already gone through uh, both the shootings that occurred, unfortunately, a few years ago up in the Thousand Oaks area, as well as the fires that caused us to close down as well. So you um, are, have familiarity with these uh, unbelievable emergency chaotic situations that we all have to cope with. Correct. Yeah. And I think uh, and thinking one of the, you know, the biggest hurdles that I've had to come through in my time here at CARD for sure has been that. I think that was one of the toughest, um, you know, times for all of us. We had staff that were at the place that, you know, luckily were able to, to make it, um, but it was definitely a very difficult time. We also had um, a family that lost their home during that time, but just that constant reassurance, you know, and and how thankful that family was and our staff of how supportive you guys came out to our office as well. So it was it was a, a really nice to see that, you know, even in the toughest times we were able to unite as a family and we were able to push through that. So that's just what we're reminding our staff, you know, it's their difficult times, but we've gone through it in the past, not in this sense, but hopefully, you know, this will be past us soon, so. Yeah, and honestly, it's exactly that attitude that gets us through it. So I really want to thank you because you are uh, one of the pillars that helps all of our folks get through this tough time. And I know it's it's probably double work for you guys right now. All of us were like, oh my gosh, it's so much more work working at home. But especially you guys, because as an OM, I know that you've also now taken over a lot of the ACs work. And so you're calling families and therapists and everything. And I just want to thank you because your, your, uh, your kind of your diligence and your dedication to, to keeping this train going is exactly why we're moving forward. And we will get through this. And I thank you so much. You're absolutely making a huge difference in the lives of all of our kids and all of our employees. So thank you so much, Adriana. Thank you so much.
Thank you for being with us and thank you for being a card hero and thank you for toughing it out when I wasn't sure if you were going to be there. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you so much. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. you. Have, a Have a good evening. Have a great rest of your day. Thank Bye. you. You too. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.